University down to Houston and Brock Osweiler. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? We got one good. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know, I just want to start this thing off today by, by thanking Mr. McNair and, and the uh, entire McNair family, um, along with Rick Smith and, and Coach O'Brien for um, really just giving me this incredible opportunity to be a Houston Texan and, and join this, this amazing franchise. Um, you know, today I, I really want to thank my family. Um, without them, I'm not here today. You know, this dream wouldn't come true. Um, I'm fortunate to have my mom, my dad, and my wife um, in the audience today. Uh, my brother is back home in Montana, and, and you know I have the most loving and, and supportive family in the world, and, and I wouldn't be here without them, so thank you. Um, I want to thank the Bolin family. I want to thank John Elway. I want to thank uh, Coach John Fox, um, because without them, my NFL journey wouldn't have started. And, and so thank you for bringing me into the National Football League and, and giving me an opportunity in Denver. Um, I would like to thank Coach Kubiak uh, for everything that he did for me last season, um, you know, on our way to winning Super Bowl 50. And, and I'll, um, you know, forever be appreciative for everything that Coach Kubiak did for me. Um, I have to thank my agents, uh, Jimmy Sexton, Jim Denton, uh, RJ Gonzer, you know, thank, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for, for everything that you guys have done for me um, from day one. Um, also, I would, I would definitely be wrong if I did not thank Coach um, Adam Gase. Um, Coach Gase, um, he's the one who taught me how to work and prepare on a daily basis every single day in the National Football League. So, so Coach Gase, thank you for that. Thank you, Coach Erickson and Noel Mazzoni. Coach, I don't know what I'd do without you, so, so thank you very much. Um, now on to the future. Um, you know, I have, I have great respect for the Houston Texans organization and what Mr. McNair has created here in Houston. Um, I'm extremely humbled, I'm honored, um, but most of all, I'm extremely excited to get to work. and. Uh, after speaking with Coach O'Brien today and, and some of the other coaches, um, I wish uh, spring ball started tomorrow. Um, to the fans, to my teammates, to the community, to the organization, um, I promise you one thing. I promise you that I will come in this building every single day, rain or shine, and I will give it everything I have. Um, nobody will outwork me. Nobody will outprepare me. And, and that's the one thing that um, I can promise you, you know, an old coach once told me, um, only worry about the things that you control. Well, bottom line, I control how hard I work. I control how hard I prepare. I control how great of a teammate I can be. And, and bottom line, I want to come here. I want to do my job to the best of my abilities. I want to be a great teammate. Um, but at the end of the day, if I can walk out of this building and somebody said I was a hard worker and I prepared hard, that's what will make me feel good. So. Um, without any more comments, um, I just I, I can't tell the, the Houston community, I can't tell my teammates, this coaching staff, um, truly how excited I am to be a Houston Texan and uh, get to work in April. Thank you. Hey, Brock. How tough a decision was it? Obviously, you had a lot to weigh. And what were some of the major reasons specifically why you picked this organization rather than what you've been comfortable right. with, what you'd already done with Denver? It was, uh, it was a very difficult decision. In fact, uh, it was the most difficult decision of my life. Um, you know, I'm very thankful, I'm very appreciative um, for everything that um, the Denver Broncos organization has done for me. However, um, in saying that, at this point in time in my career, um, I feel like the Houston Texans give me the best opportunity to be successful. Um, from the top down, starting with the McNair family, um, and then moving on down into um, the coaching staff. And with Coach Godsey, with Coach O'Brien, um, and the offensive attack that they have here, um, I feel like their offense fits my skill set um, very well. And uh, I'm excited to play in that offense. And, and that's ultimately what brought me here to Houston. Brock, when they went back to, uh, over here, uh, when they went back to Peyton Manning at halftime of the San Diego game, how tough was that for you to mentally maybe get over heading into free agency? Is that something that bothered you? Absolutely not. Um, you know, that's football. Um, guys, guys get 
um, whatever you want to call it, benched, replaced, they get injured, another guy comes in, he becomes a starter. That's football, and that happens all the time. And uh, bottom line, I always want what's best for the team. You know, and as long as the, the football team is winning games, I'm happy. And so um, when, when Peyton came into the game in the third quarter and remained the starter, um, you know, throughout that football game and all the way through the Super Bowl, um, it was okay with me because bottom line, our football team was winning games. And ultimately, we won a world championship. And that's why all of us are here today um, is to compete for world championships. So, you know, I supported Coach Kubiak's decision 100%. Um, he's the coach, and um, you know I will I will always do what's best for the football team. Brock, can you talk about you, you mentioned Peyton Manning? Can you talk about what it was like um, working with him? What you learned from him? And for fans in Houston who may not have seen much of you, can you tell them a little bit bit about what your skill set is? Certainly. Um, you know, wh when when you when you start talking about what I've learned from Peyton and, and what I've pulled from him. Um, we, we would need hours to, to get through the full list. Um, you know, obviously Peyton is, is one of the best to ever play the position. Um, and, and I have tremendous respect for everything that he's done in this league. But um, ultimately, the, the thing I truly pulled away from Peyton is how to be a pro on a daily basis. How to be the same guy um, Monday through Sunday, whether it's um, April or whether it's November. And, um, you know, I'll always be very uh, appreciative for Peyton. Um, whether he knew it or not, I was watching, and, and he taught me how to be a pro. Brock, over here, you've obviously had a lot of great moments in your career. Where does this one stack up today? Boy, uh, this is, this is right, at the, right at the top of the mountain. This is uh, truly a dream come true. And, um, you know, I'm just I'm so thankful and I'm so appreciative um, that the McNair family and, and you know, Rick Smith are, are giving me this opportunity uh, to be a Houston Texan. And uh, you know, to have my parents and my wife in the audience, uh, this truly is a dream. Brock, what kind of expectations have Mr. McNair and Bill and Rick talked to you about? You know, we were, haven't really got into that. Um, but the way I look at it, um, the Houston Texans were a playoff team last year. And so, um, They've already created a great culture here. They've already created a great locker room, and they already have a great football team. Um, my biggest thing is just coming in and doing my job to the best of my abilities to put the football team in a position to be successful. You know, just don't hurt the football team. So I don't think I need to come in and do anything special. Obviously, um, I know there's um, plenty of areas that I can improve in in my game, and um, I'm already already working on that in the off season. Brock, what are your thoughts on? Um uh, on playing with the with a receiver like DeAndre Hopkins and the kind of target he is, uh, you can see it in my smile. You know that uh, that excites. Uh, you know it's very exciting. Um, you know I've been very fortunate to uh, you know experience two great receivers. You know in Demarius Thomas and, uh, and Emmanuel Sanders. But um, what DeAndre brings to the game is is truly special. And uh, DeAndre and I have already talked on the phone. Um, you know we're already trying to find a place to go work out together and get to work. So. Um, to, to have the opportunity to play with a football player like that, um, you know, that's what, that's what gets a quarterback out of bed in the morning. <clears throat> you said that this was, right here, you said that this was the most difficult decision you've made. When in your mind had you decided that it wasn't going to be Denver? Not in terms of the negotiations, but in your mind, when did you know you were moving on? Uh, you know, it wasn't until tomorrow, or um, excuse me, it wasn't until yesterday. <laughs> it's a done deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I apologize about that. Uh, it, was, it was yesterday. Um, you know, it really did come down to the wire. Um, and, uh, you know, I gave John Elway a phone call, um, you know, just to let him know the direction I was going to go into. And, and that was a very hard phone call to make. Um, but I told John out of the respect for him and everything that he's done for me, he deserved it. And um, it truly came down to the wire. But um, like I've said before, I could not be more excited uh, to be a Houston Texan and get to work. Just take a couple more. So I just, there were reports that you hadn't talked to anyone in the building in Denver. You weren't answering people's phone calls for a couple weeks. Is that, had you, is that not true? Uh, you know, it wasn't a couple weeks. Um, you know, there, were, there was an offer on the table for um, a small period of time. And, um, you know, with, with this being my first time going through free agency, you, you follow your um, agency's advice. And so I was just following their lead. Um, however, when it did come time to make decisions, um, I did talk um, with Denver as well as Houston, and um, we were able to get this deal done. 
Brock, describe how you think you'll handle the pressure of signing such a large contract. Some people say your body of work is pretty small, seven games as a starter. You get this mega deal. Are you prepared for the kind of pressure that comes with that kind of contract? We will be a top 10 paid quarterback in this league this year. You know, I don't want to um, downplay the, the contract or anything like that, but um, bottom line, football is football. And, and football, um, you know, is played between the white lines. And so when I step onto the football field on Sunday or Monday or Thursday or whatever that day may be, um, I'm not going to be thinking about pressure. I'm not going to be thinking about a contract. I'm going to be thinking about how can I do my job in the best way possible and help get this football team wins. Brock, from a football standpoint, and you're obviously young in your career, you, you've been playing for a few years in the NFL. What do you feel like you bring to the table specifically in terms of your strengths as a quarterback? What do you think you, you do well, and uh, what are some yeah. things you think you can still work on to get better at? Well, you know, there's always room for improvement. You know, I'll start there. Um, you know, you look at last season, and, and a lot of people would say I took a lot of sacks. Um, I might argue and say I protected the football. You know, so there, there's two ways to look at it. But I also agree there's, there's a time and a place to just throw the ball away. You know, throw it at the receiver's feet, throw it out of bounds over a receiver's head rather than losing those yards. So I'm going to go, go back and look at all those plays from last season to improve that area of my game. So that's, that's one thing there. But as far as um, something I bring to the table, I, I firmly believe that games are won um, during the week. Games aren't won on Sunday. They're won with how you prepare and, and how you work as a team during the week, how you compete at practice during the week. So, um, you know, I'm just going to try to bring um, hard work to the table, leadership, and, and um, you know, once again, the, the Houston Texans are already a great football team. You know, nobody needs to come in here and work a miracle. Um, I'm just going to try to be the best me I can possibly be on a daily basis to already to add to this great football team.